Hey, 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 this is the boat doctor. Down here at the bay, boat ramp. Ha ha, and there's a seagull floating. Another chilly day, it's supposed to get cold this Wednesday and Thursday again. Maybe some snow. Anyway, out here, this is a kind of neat boat. Kind of reminds me of a well craft, but I think it's a Koffler. OR227 AGJ. Good heavy duty tra uh, trailer. <clears throat> Got some uh, DMH guide, load guides, two by sixes. Uh, spare tire, uh, it should be tightened down right here. A little loose, right there, the nut. Uh, and then it needs to be aired up. It's a little low. Got a nice little V block up there, that's better. A good stanchion, looks like, pretty beefy. Uh, shooting 5 16 shins ball, trailer brakes. Got Bulldog, that's removable. If you just pull the pin, you can pull that all out. There's your uh, safety chain for the brakes, round seven. Um, you can put some frozen X on that, maybe put some uh, anti rust stuff on your thing if you like. Now, this boat should handle pretty good actually. Uh, it's got the ribbing down the side, <clears throat> but what I noticed he put two sets uh, like the chine, and then he went to a heavy duty reverse tilted way down, kind of like a variable style to keep that water, I think, to spray down instead of up and into the boat because then it flattens out, it transitions to the back. So it's kind of like a variable so it's unique uh, I noticed the port light works the green starboard doesn't work on the light nice big window big blade got a fan that should work good because the way there's there's no center uh, support in that and it's a forward-leaning windshield he's got high bow rails welded the HF uh, antennas nice low uh, chine guides now those are beefy at least you can step on this, 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 and get in the boat. Yeah, the vinyl's peeling off here. Uh, then up here as well, I believe. Yeah, right here. If it was me, you can get these revinyl cheap, actually. But the next time, I think what I would do is I would leave these bare. Just polish them out or powder coat them. Or just rhino line them, these uh, uh, ribs here. Uh, because that's why it lifts. So I'd probably just do it to there and just leave this and just like I say probably rhino line these <clears throat> they keep that from blistering see that's exactly where it's pulling up it's all in there it separates so I'd go down to there and just leave that raw on them rub rails tires look good heavy duty six lugs so they gotta be at least 15 so check the tire pressure I don't know much about the trailer brakes I think they're working that's why it goes through uh, the service and rigging now this is kind of unique uh, cell bailing deck but he went out the sides right here which is probably a good idea because the water line you can see is right here so that's above the water line so and then there's these big so basically you don't have to worry about the flaps and there is these plugs you can put in there if you're say sitting and it's taking on a little water just from the weight you can just cap those off those are more for like moorage if you're mooring the boat and stuff they sell balers to be honest with you uh heavy duty tie downs boom boom you got a 225 i believe or 250 yeah it's 250 15 by 15 right hand rotation got a little paint that's typical this paint fade uh got a live well kind of like bait or bleed bucket you can use here picks up water i don't know if that works that big one's for your uh, fish box there's a valve inside i'll show you the other one's a pickup i believe unless he's got a pickup on the bottom which i don't see he's got strakes up there that's really neat good keel strip zinc and it's working good uh get some corrosion x spray on that get that back to the normal get that little bit of whiteness off got the high thrust 99 four blade honda See, and then this is starting to lift right here that's why i say on this i would just cut it to here and leave these exposed if it was me this ain't gonna hurt nothing and he did it the right way on this flange coming off the offshore bracket it is part of the hole so 26 you can actually go 27 28 28 5 probably uh, because that's part of the hole electric crab davit sliding doors back doors i'll show you all that rear deck lights tons of pole holders and then you can actually step here and then put your foot here and just put your foot against it and come up rear entry door 
so you grabbed out a pole okay I checked your electrics on this side right up here these work both back sides now this one up here is for your foot feet but it ain't plugged in you're not getting power to that plug that's why they said this didn't work I plugged this into the back back here and it works just this works fine now you just have to have a way to shut it off and there's your power which should, and this should be a ground wire so that should be easy to fix you can just run it by a switch and here's this up and down that could be and you have to don't push those buttons at the same time either okay here's your fuel valve there's those cell balers goes down in the trough these are the caps you can cap those if you were uh, for some reason taking water was coming back through those just cap them off a lot of boats will do that there's your battery switch right there there's your other plug there's your ram saver batteries this got huge huge fish boxes put that over there okay that valve there is for the drain now that's closed if you had that open that would fill this up so you want to make sure that sucker is closed we got a nice support lifting eye there, auto bilge pump. Looks like a newer filter has been put on it. And that other sea cog valve that's going straight up and down. That's for your wash down, which is on the switch up front. These go on the inside back here. We've got two tanks right here. Sliding door, which we'll leave this one open so I can get in quick. Drain. Then you come up here. You got your Lowrance broadband they don't use any juice that light works hey i like your unique setup there some paint missing off the top air prop then i'll move this big ball then my way move ball there you go there you go anchor rope got the claw anchor or bruce anchor so again check for any way out like if something happened when you started that main motor you do have a kicker motor but then you got to figure make sure you start the kicker motor when you're at the dock make sure that's ready to go and then if you have an anchor make sure you say you didn't have a kicker make sure there's an anchor so if that main motor quit and you're drifting you're going right towards them pylons in that ship so you need to be able to do something quick. So you want to make sure you look at any avenue you have. Make sure you shift them, steer them, put them in neutral. Make sure you got throttle. Good drain system. Then you come in here. These are air seats. I don't know if the autopilot's gonna work. That's you got Lawrence hooked up to Ray. So I don't know if I don't see any other. He could have bypassed that actually. Big glove box, fuel tanks, wiper, VHF, your Honda gauge, your controls. Uh, this are your running lights, bilge pump worked. I checked out, wash down work, cabin lights, uh, batteries off, they worked. Um, this one I believe is for the rear deck light. Here's every time you turn on, there's your air tank, pretty cool air compressor. So that's what tears up your seats and you got your up and down right there so there ain't much room to get in in behind there so uh, those people are kind of out of the driver's way you might say come back here you open the doors up and then those seats go in there like i say there's not a lot of you can sit up here hey how you doing driver and whack this guy in the head you know once in a while sliding windows nice room this is all the room you need then up into here i'm gonna look how this works i think it goes clean up to the bow of the boat unless that's closed off uh the reason i'm saying that back Maybe there. Then I'm gonna move this. Since I it works now. I'm gonna pull this back over there. I'm gonna move this seat right here. I can 
can actually pop it back in here. There you go. And spray those seats down with like Trojan X to keep them from rusting. And then this here was a center fish box, which is huge. So that is that valve that water will go in there. And you notice you got that little grate you can pop in and out that keeps a lot of the bigger stuff from going in there and going out. So you can scoop it up later. So that's nice. But that back one back there, that just goes in underneath the whole hole, foot toe holes right here so if you keep it catches you so you don't go over backwards yeah i need that big a measuring thing hell mine are about 60 this one goes to 56 that's a joke all right this is the boat dr c on the water 2015 i believe koffler let me check okay yep koffler and it's a 2015 damn hole holders i'm right sometimes Boat Doctor out.